Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Icewind Dale 2. When we last left off, our little squad of despots had just cleaned the goblins out of the Targos docks, and we are headed into the town proper to see Lord Ulbrich and uh, visit his old lady. Lord Ulbrich's wife is going to identify that mysterious scroll that we found on the goblins. Oh, there's another battle axe. Like a battle axe has come out of my ears. Uh, none of these weapons and armor are serviceable. What a shame. Uh, Colum Bonecutter. That's the necromancer that those guys referenced earlier. The guy who, uh... who? Yes. I think you need to search for traps. Your request? Case, because I'm gonna steal some of these goodies here, so I wanna make sure they're not trapped. Who are you? What are these bodies doing here? This row of vessels here, mayhap, lined up, but they like ships? They have passed on, yes, they have sailed through this life and into the keeping of old Lord Skull. <laughs> but their spirits still echo. Lord Skull. Lord of the Dead. Merkel is his name. Hmm. What happened to these people? Okay, so they died when the goblin struck. Faint whisper like a gust of wind. I guess he's talking to the dead bodies. Dead bodies making noise. Are you talking to that corpse? <laughs> the, the dead ask, demand, call, scream for attention. They rattle on like children. <laughs> and this goblin here still is at its last moments. Yes, the frightened, gibbering thing, howling at the moment of its death. What are you doing here? Why are these bodies here? The one who can speak to the dead has value on the field of battle. This goblin here, it was Ulbrich's wish that I speak to him and learn what secrets he holds in his head, but that is all. not all, no. What do you mean? The dead are in need of proper burial. Hmm, so I guess he's going to perform whatever uh, rites they need for burial. Is that why you came to Targos? Mm, uh, I travel where death does. Yada yada. This guy doesn't sound very like a very nice guy. He came with the iron collar, mer collar mercenaries. In the days to come, all of Targos will serve Merkel. All of them worship Merkel, whether they know it or not, and all of them shall come before him. E I think you are mistaken. By word, perhaps. Your deeds to come, I think, yes, you will be. Okay, so yeah, we're going to create a lot of dead bodies. Do you know someone named Fane? <sighs> okay, so uh, we have done that. Now he, the, he, the rest, suckle on Targo's breast, drawing gold from Goblin Fear. Foolishness. Other interests? He stays in the makeshift barracks just north of the town hall. If you speak to him, keep your sword close. His loyalties are peculiar ones, and yours aren't. Hmm, he doesn't hide his loyalties. He's got no pretense, I guess. Why are you even allowed within the city walls? Hmm. Okay, so I guess they need him here to make sure that the dead can't be turned into an undead army or something. I have other questions for you. Why are you here at the Weeping Willow? <laughs> ah, there are spirits here that will not be silenced. I heard a spirit weeping in the inn. Yes, in the room with the window, the window that was broken long ago. If I had a po poetical bent, when night falls, she rises like the tide, and the tears flow from her like a wounded heart. But because I detest poetry, I'll simply say that ghosts... Most of the other spirits are a tiresome bunch. Why does she weep? Who knows? There's no gold to have he had in knowing, so why should one care? How could we speak to her? Go to her at night. Yes, I think nighttime is best. Alright, so that maybe that's why they call it... They say this is the Weeping Widow or Weeping Willow. I have other questions I would ask. 
Oh, it's the Weeping Widow. Hmm, so she is the Weeping Widow, apparently. You traveled here with the Iron Collar Mercenaries? They made mention that you were a grave robber. There's no thievery when the dead give permission. Permission? Permission to relieve them of their funeral trappings. For what What use have the dead for trinkets and baubles? Where is the harm in that? Um, I'm not going to say that, because uh, that would be a good thing to say. Go ahead and rob dead bodies. I don't care. We've spoken long enough. Farewell. Okay. You don't find anything, apparently, so why don't you go look in there? Don't mind me robbing you here. I'll rob this little thing. More useful stuff. Another little flame thing. Questions for you. Can we stay here? Let's see. So if you'll let us rest. Um, I thought I saw that dialogue option come up, but I kind of skipped over it. Let me see if I can find it again. I kind of want some rest. Uh, get through this, get through this. Alright, let me try one more time. Uh, how can we speak to her? Can we rest here until night falls? This is no inn. I've had enough. Farewell. Okay, so let's get out of here. I thought this was the inn, but I guess it's not. My sword is yours. Very well. Let's leave. Duty calls. Let's open up this barrel. Find whatever little piece of trash is in there. Apparently nothing. You may have noticed objects getting highlighted in green every once in a while. That's because I'm pressing the Alt key. The Alt key highlights containers that you can open so that you don't have to click on every single thing. There's the Weeping Widow Inn. That's where we can stay and rest. Let's talk to Lumbar Grunwall. My gods, what now? If you hear about the lumber, then you'd best have brought more hands to help you with carry this shipment because there's no way to get it from the crane to the walls without more help. And I've said enough I've said so enough times that you'd think it would sink in. Lumber, what the hell are you talking about, boy? Okay, so the lumber's got to be shipped to the Palisade. Blah, blah, blah. He's shorthanded. Blah, blah. Cry me a river. If we find someone who can, we'll send assistance. Well, let's see if I can... What's wrong with the crane? Okay, so you're supposed to use a crane to do it. Okay, I can't remember exactly how to do this. Oh, let's see. I have to get a wheel somehow. Let me talk to this guy one more time. See if he'll tell me who will... I think you have to get a part for that. Okay, now. Yeah. He's not going to tell me how, I guess. Not yet, at least. <laughs> but I will eventually find out how to fix the crane and solve that little quest. It's a fetch quest. Good old first level fetch quest. Fetch my boots. Fix my crane. Let's see if this cat will talk to me. Oh, it's a dog. Never mind. Uh, do you know a priest of Merkel named Kaloon? He said he had a room here. Had a room for, for two nights, but then he couldn't bear the weeping of the spirit. Weeping? What weeping? I'd like to hear it, especially if I'm going to be staying here. 
Okay, so Ruin passed away. She was waiting for her man to return from Dwalden, but he was lost in a storm, and the poor woman hurled herself from the window upstairs to the cliffs below. What a terrible story. There might be something I can do to help her. I could look into the matter if you want. All right, got journal update. Maybe I can shut her up. He gave me the key. What ward? There's a ward on the door. I had a priest of Merkel staying here, and he scratched the thing on the door. It didn't look a look a good. It didn't. So he didn't pay anything. The guy left without paying. What's the glyph supposed to do? He just put a glyph on the door? I'm an idiot. Uh, hmm. Give me some damnable magic potion, some concoction or another, but he wouldn't tell me what it was, only that it was more than enough for the room. Truth be told, I'm too scared to open it, let alone drink it. Can I see it? It does seem magical, though. If you want, we could try to identify it for you. I can't remember what that thing is. I'll see about getting a bottle identified. Before I go, though, I'm in need of a room. Oh, who's that? Oh, I think that's Lord Albert's wife. And she can identify the potion and that mysterious scroll for me. Well, where can I find work in town? I already killed the goblin raiders. Uh, we need to rest. Do you have a free room? Oh, let's just do merchant. We healed for 16 hours. Okay, let's go and explore. Let's rob this place blind. Nothing in there. Let's steal everything that's not tied down, so to speak. Come on, open the door. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. You unlock the door. I can't remember if there's something in this room. There might be. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Go back downstairs. I'm here. Hi. I thought there might be beetles or something in there. Ooh, lamp oil and rations. Lamp oil is another weapon you can throw. Set enemies on fire. Anybody in here? New. No. Look for traps. While Saddam explores all the rooms. Ooh, stuff. Let's have you come in here. This is probably locked. It was locked, and I got a gem and some gold. Whoopee, yay me. Well, there's nobody staying in here. My sword is yours. Very well. Your request, as you request. Okay, I had the key for that room. What time is it? Hour seven. So I just missed her. Um. Hmm. Can you wait in this game? You can't wait, can you? Let me. Uh. Let me go back downstairs and. Oh wait, is this was this door locked? This door was locked, wasn't it? Go ahead. Uh, yes. Let's search for traps for a second. Make sure that this thing doesn't blow up in my face when I open it. Okay, welcome back, folks. We just had a wonderful little desktop crash. And uh, offline, I had to replay the last ten minutes or so. But here we are, it's night time, we're in the hotel, or the inn, whatever, and uh, the Weeping Widow is in this room. So let's go talk to her with our sorcerer. There she is, and you can hear her crying. Vera is her name. Who is this? My weeping I see, not my Donovan, but a man of flesh and bone. Why are you weeping? Sorrow consumes me. My tears are for my loss.